so handsome. Best 
Not good. There's a fight and it will take me, I don't know, two minutes or three. But no. I will I will play with him for a while now and we'll find out if I can put him down. Come on, girl, just one blow and you will oh. Yes! Thank you, finally. Let's look around. I think I was fighting him seven minutes. Yeah, seven minutes. Man, this guy was tough. Always sending his pets on me and then recharging his life like Come on, give me that battery of yours. I want this life too. Just make a shield and send my pets on my enemies and charge my life. Okay. I'm gonna check for any any food or something I can Lara use. Luna. Okay. Alright, let's watch this message. Yeah, 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 we won't talk. Shiren, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one. And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. And... Where last we were together? Yeah. Not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here, surely they saw the projection. They searched everything, and if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Ciri. Well, we know they were well acquainted, and traveling together. Wonder why they split up. Wonder why they split up. Perhaps because the Wild Hunt was on the Elf's trail, and Ciri would be safer if they did. Mm-hmm. Okay. The witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. That's the same, isn't it? Kira, if you're hiding something... But... I didn't say... Come on, spill it out! You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies mm -hmm. of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Vellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet throughout my first fortnight in Vellum, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously. Render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. Why didn't you mention it? Why didn't you say anything earlier? I told you Siri had a run-in with a witch. Well, I had no idea you meant then. If I'd told you something, you would have rushed off to find yes. it. Yes. But we needed first to confirm that Siri was here, didn't we? I shall tell you everything now, of course. Now? After I safely led you through the cave? I can't believe you'd think so poorly of me. Perhaps you do bear a grudge against sorceresses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can't imagine where that comes from. How can I find these switches? How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at no. Claire Morhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. You just I, pull that book out of your pockets. Right, then, then I want those to pockets start, too. Let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. 
Why do we even come? Yeah, yeah, just talk. What should we look for? Or just... Leave in here? I don't know. There's nothing useful for me. Just some... Oh, man. There's something in here. Must have burned these notes himself. The hunt wouldn't have bothered. Meaning he knew they were looking for him. What is this? Oh, there's something more. What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. Elder blood. But Siri. Oh, there's another thing. Hmm. Mysterious mage herbalist. What now? This thing. What is this? Must be the passage. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. No, what's that? Oh, that's the Meaning key. what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe not. Let's see where the passage leads. Yeah, just bam into me. Okay. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. Oh, what? The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Oh, you've got to be kidding. Fine. Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. We're certain to find something here. Yeah, of course. But maybe if we help her, she'll give us the lamp. Alrighty. Let's go. Kira. Looks like another damned riddle to me. Okay. So? Inscription here. Do you need my Jane. assistance? Or. Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just read Just it. Translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. Mm. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a riddle, all right. Yeah. Let's try to solve it. All right. Let's see if we can solve this. So, the third got the beast, fourth play on two, but not next to first. We got two beasts. Okay, I think this is the first one.
How was it that riddle? Can you can you repeat what that? What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, yeah. standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. Yeah, I got the, the second, first. beside the first, played a woeful lament. Woeful the lament. third Blood kept close. Wait, something just happened. Mm -hmm. Behind that wall, a movement. Now, the third one was what? Maybe this one? What was that inscription again? Can you repeat four that? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his yeah, fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second okay, played a tune. This one is third one, and then And thus fourth they stood one. over their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. I got it! Grave is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. I don't know. Hmm, sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulchre. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Siri. Possible. Maybe. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? Um, happy to oblige. Ooh, got some nice pants. Okay. What, what what's in here? Medallion's oh, coming. Place of power. What it's gotta be. That? I think I'm gonna go back where I came from. Okay. Because I don't know if there are many other monsters. Let's go back. Let's go out. I'm done with the tombs for now. We're going. Mm. Come on, Kira. I want to Someone catch. placed an illusion here. Yeah, just use the thing. Nice one. Finally, outside. Oh, at last. But it was worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I'm which one? I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favour to ask you. So, visit me sometime? Perhaps. I'll stop by. You can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira. Bye-bye. Bloody Baron. Man, look at this. Look at this sunrise. I got some wizards. 
with uh, those sea lake monsters or whatever is that. I forgot the names. Drowners, yeah. I met a couple of drowners and they attacked me and there's a nest. <coughs> Boys, I don't have time for this. And got higher level than me. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist help. and you'll never see home again. Well, for fee. But tell me more about a monster. This monster, tell me more. Only seen it once myself. And that from afar and past dusk. Thought it were a man at first. Then it turned, and I saw eyes burning like coals and a jaw full of fangs, one next to the other. Humanoid? Nocturnal? Hmm. First attack. Remember when it happened? A week passed, near about. It was then Boren vanished. Merrick and Tommel went looking for him, didn't come back either, them two. I were feared. Now none dare venture into the bog. Camp stands deserted, and the peat there... Master, it's the best sort. Oh, okay. Black as pitch and oily. Tell me about Good the for fuel. Fascinating, but staying with the topic at hand. I can help. Okay, for a how much? Of course. Why, even an ox don't keep... pull a plow for free. Afraid I'll need more than an ox needs. How much are you willing to pay exactly? Hmm. Oh, Master, you value your services dear. But so be it. I'll agree to that. Alrighty. Time to go. Alright, time I got to work. Where'll I find this monster? Start south of here. But beware. Bad poxy air hangs o'er the marsh. Stings your eyes, claws at your throat. Claws so hard ye could choke. level is it? 12. Well, I am already 6, so I'm gonna switch it back to... 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 to, to ladies of Dreams. I'll do it next time. I'm not gonna call Roach because I'm already there. But okay, back to place. Ooh, yummy! Went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. 
cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Hi, Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. Hmm. Looking for the witches. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w witches? Yeah. Of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Grand don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing. Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. What are you doing in the swamp? What are you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war, so there's orphans. Didn't know that. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You can see anyone like that? Ain't no lassie's here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. Oh. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. The girl is in trouble. Just need to find Listen, her, okay? The girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? Who's what Johnny? kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids, they're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. I'm not a bandit. Where's Johnny? Take care of this kids. You look after these kids. They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Johnny. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shot. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, nor but tales. Looking for someone. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. Just help me, please, come on. A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything no. from you. Aye. Cause I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my <laughs> arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. But tell me who's Johnny. Come on. Hey, kids. I need to talk with the, the guy. Okay. Oi. Oi. Come on, tell me. Who's Johnny? I wanna know. Don't tell me about Siri. Where is he? There's a gran. You got granny here. Uh, but she won't allow me to talk with him.
can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not Dad, allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And and stranger steal kids. I don't want to hurt you. I just. What? Where can I find this Johnny? Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Right, right, right. Oh. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have you ever seen him? Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Does your gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Says strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. And your friends? The boy who plays with Johnny. He must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to gran and goes in the woods. And then he's got to have a time out. And eat snails. Yeah. Yuck. So, will he help me out, or...? The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right. But you gotta do something for us, too. Play hide-and-seek. Hide-and-seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Fine. Let's play. You hide. But if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. All right, kids. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. I saw you. No, I'm gonna use the cheat. Here, I gotcha. Found you. You can stop hiding. Where'd you find me? Because I'm perfect. No 
one left hiding. You're a wizard, right? Gonna show us some tricks when we get to the cottage. No, no. we'll talk about your promise. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse! Gran! Come! Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. Oh, I won't hurt you. Come on. No, so grand. That's right. She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. No matter your parents. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved. Others were killed, like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells, then laughing. Went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Leave my pot down by the bird door. Is it clean off? And then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. Okay, I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? No. Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy. Cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Yeah. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, boy. Now... What a drawny. What are you on about? Who said I? Fogly word, ugly. Ugly word. Don't cry, Yakna. Yakna's a stupid pig. Name calling's not allowed. <laughs> she says when I fall asleep, rats will come and eat my eyes. Oh. Shouldn't say that. Apologise. Arse. I'll stand here till you <laughs> apologise to her and to me. I've got time. Yeah, so, Ain't no rats gonna eat your eyes. And I know we're not allowed to say dirty words. Good child. Apologies mean treats to please a belly needing to be put at ease. Oh. Can I have some? I want a treat too. Got some pillows over here. Please, some fire. Oh! <laughs> 
so. Okay. Look for the prince. There it is. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Now, where do I need to go? Just tell me. You're hiding. Maybe. Oh, the tracks lead to okay. a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucker? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? You do. Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? It's wrong. You can't talk. You know the kids? You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt anyone. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? What's that? What's that supposed to mean? Lost your voice? Ah, okay. Can I help you somehow? I must follow you. Okay. You want me to follow you? Want me to follow you? Yeah? No choice, I guess. No. 